Now the first thing you will notice when the image slicer dialog opens up is we are a little inhibited by the size of the preview window. So it might be a good idea just to stretch that dialog box to fill a little bit more of your screen just so you can see a bit more about what's going on. And of course you can use your pan tool so if you click this icon here we can move our active preview window to a place that is more relevant for us. Okay, so we're gonna use the slice tool for the first time. And I think the first thing we should isolate for our usage is the menu bar. So we pick this little icon here that looks like a scalpel and we just align the edge of the scalpel with the top there and you'll see it creates a slice for us and then one at the bottom. And of course we have the Coral logo now untouched. Effectively, if I was to export this now, we would have that entire slice as a separate image. So let's continue to work with our layout because we're using the slice tool, which as you have no doubt noticed by now, is governed by the horizontal axis. So obviously our interchangeable photograph, that's not quite pixel perfect. It takes a little while if I just zoom in a little bit to that area there that the cut isn't exactly where that photograph would be. Now obviously we don't want remnants of our original photograph uh, when we're overlaying different images for different pages. So you really need to be careful to make sure that your slice does not include any of that data. Now it's probably okay to have a little bit of the background in, um, but just try your best to get it as exact as possible. And we can use the pan tool to go to the bottom and we can apply another slice here. 